Today I'm getting my feet scanned to make some 3D printed shoes, but first I need to get down to London. The company that's doing this is called Vivo Barefoot and they're trying to revolutionize the shoe industry with 3D printing to help stop the billions of shoes that are being thrown into landfill. But this isn't the first step they've taken. You can already buy their refurbished shoes on their Revivo website. In future, their goal is to be able to use your mobile phone to scan your feet. That scan will then be sent to one of their approved manufacturers local to you with the finished shoe being delivered to your door. I'm one of the first users for this service after I applied to be on their Pioneer program. So I had to come down here to their store in London to have the scans done by Rebecca of the Vivo Barefoot team. What is Vivo Biome itself? Vivo Biome is a 3D printed project we're starting where people will be able to get customizable shoes and have different widths and they're all going to be 3D printed. Is that something that happens locally? Are you getting them made out in China and then shipping them over? How does that actually work? It's all going to be locally uh, done so whatever country you're in it's going to be done in that country to save the shipping and be a bit more eco-friendly. All the practices we're using in this is going to be a sustainable system we should be able to get them resold and fixed without having to buy a new shoe. And that actually kind of answers the next question that I wanted to ask you which is of all the things that people should care about in the world right now, why should they care about Vivo Barefoot and also the Vivo Biome program? So we're always looking for different practices to try and improve our materials, our way we treat our customers, the way we treat our staff, not just eco-friendliness, but also socially we're trying to improve. And the Vivo Biome is just another step in the right direction for having that full circularity we aim to have in the world. Are you going to be able to recycle the shoes once they're made? Currently I know they can be fixed for sure, and they can be resold and reused. In terms of recycling, the sole material can be recycled into a brand new sole, same for the upper, uh, but I think we're still exploring ways to make that a full recyclable program so we're not using as many virgin materials in our shoes. The last thing that we actually need to do now is jump onto the 3D scanner yes. and get it on. So what do you need me to do to get onto this cheeky little chap? So you need to take your shoes and socks off. Yep. Um, you can leave your socks on if you really prefer, but usually it makes it a little bit more accurate to take your socks off. I've got the world's gammiest feet, so but I can only apologise in advance. Been past here, I've been selling shoes a long time. I've probably seen gammier feet, I can promise that. All right, challenge accepted. <laughs> if you hop on here for me. Yeah. Uh, which way round? So you want to have your left foot in the left side of the box. That and makes your right sense. Right foot in the right side of the box. I can do that. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, perfect. And if you just stand facing the front for me, and I'm going to scan now. And is the goal that people will need to come into shops to get this done, or is the plan that people can do this on their phone at home? It's going to be a phone thing, but if you want more accuracy to come and get the scan here, you're done by the way. You can have one. Oh, sick! Um, that quick. I can only assume though that you can't have like a Nokia brick. It's got to be a fairly modern phone, decent camera imagery. Yes, it, it does. My friend actually, who worked here, he had a cat phone. Uh, which was a flip phone that Bill was using. It had like the worst camera in the world and he tried to do it and it didn't work. Okay. Fine. Yeah, it just it wasn't compatible with the software. So you yeah. have to have a smartphone that at least can open the app and take it. Do you have any pairs? Not yet. Will I get mine before you? Probably. Oh yes. my goodness. <laughs> that is exciting. So these are my feet now, right? This is, this is your feet. Wait, yeah. I'm going to grab the camera and bring yeah. it on over. So this is a model of my foot, right? Yep, a 3D model of your foot. You can touch it, you can move it, you can see your foot all the way around. So we can see your feet are almost the same length, definitely a 46. According to this, ball width, you've got the right foot slightly wider than your left foot. Very normal, we're humans, we don't tend to have perfectly equal bodies. Almost perfectly equal arch heights. This is obviously the tendon in the bottom of your foot that does all the shock absorbing. Instep heights, we can see your right ear is slightly higher. I probably assume that you're right-footed from that measurement. Very true. Uh, instep girth, this is usually where we know that this is your right foot is your stronger foot. It's like a nail in the coffin because instep girth basically measures the muscle mass around your foot. So your more dominant foot's always gonna have more muscle mass because uh, you're using it more. It's amazing that you can see all of this stuff from a simple 3D, I mean, I say simple, it's not something that I would ever know how to create or use personally, but it makes it look so simple. Yeah. And it's amazing how much data you can actually get out of this. Yeah. And how much you can then trace it back to the individual's performance factors, probably their activity level injury level it kind of just shows that the foot is the building block of the body and as long as you know what's going on down there then it can carry up through the rest of the chain a lot of people before biome would take this to their podiatrist and like it would help them kind of do like insoles and things like that mm -hmm. and help them understand with their podiatrist like why they want to go barefoot that's awesome i've just seen off screen actually this shoe right here this bright i don't know how i've just seen it this bright <laughs> orange beauty 
Is this one of the first 3D printed shoes? Yes, this is the first one of the first samples that were printed. Seriously, mm -hmm. that's nuts. Imagine a Primus Trail with something like a Motus grip on the bottom of it. What elements of this shoe have been 3D printed? The sole is fully 3D printed mm -hmm. um, and the upper material is a thing called 3D knitting. The laces are made separately uh, and then added to the shoe. But that's the only component I'm aware of that isn't 3D printed on this shoe. Where are we going next? We're going over to the plantar plate. To the plantar plate? We've arrived at the plantar plate. <laughs> that was a very anticlimactic walk, wasn't it? <laughs> like trying to build anticipation and excitement. Yeah, I might go like. It looks like we're going a really long way. I'm thinking like a Frodo Baggins style yeah, like yeah. transition. I'm that down one. for that. Right. So, if you want to take a step on here. Perfect. So, a few things we can see straight away from your feet. So you've got lovely arches, lovely big toe, bit of tension sitting here and here. But ideally, we should see all your toes and you've got a lovely centre of gravity there. Definitely in good control of your posture. Do you see anyone ever do any like really weird stuff? I'm hypermobile, so I actually like to lock all my knees out completely. And it oh, means yeah. I kind of throw my, all my weight to the back of my body. Yeah. So I have to think about how I'm standing and almost break out of a bad habit. That's my experience. So I've now been on the 3D scanner. I've also been over onto the plantar machine. The last question I've got for you, you've been amazing, Rebecca. How can people get involved with this project if they want to? Well, you can check out the Vivo Biome page and firstly just see what things we're doing in the project later on when we eventually release it to the public because right now it's still in the testing phases that's why you're here to test them and trial them and improve them before they go out to the public uh, but eventually when they do go out to the public everyone will get the chance to have a scan and see what they're about and has it been rolled out worldwide to start off with is it uk only i've traveled from canada for this so not necessarily the most eco-friendly but hey hopefully you guys will see the Should value to it here. no i believe it's going to start in the uk mainly because we want to make sure we're doing it locally so it's finding those places locally in each country instead of having it shipped overseas and flown overseas should help Unreal. It's been really interesting to see this process, and although it hasn't been rolled out to the general public yet, I'm personally very excited about the future of the Vivo Biome program. So, Rebecca, thank you so much for having me down. Thank you very much for sparing some of your day to jump onto my uh, little YouTube video. <laughs> Massively appreciate it. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below this video. If you want to get involved, make sure you comment, and hopefully one day when this all rolls out, I'll be able to come through and let you know when you can get your own pair of 3D printed shoes. Rebecca, last question. How long do you think until I'll get my first pairs for review and testing? I believe it's two weeks of waiting for them to be printed. Um, oh, sweet. It might be sooner, it might be later. I think it depends on how quickly you get your email sent to them. <laughs> All right, amazing. Well, thank you again. Uh, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Bye. See you soon. It's weird not waving at a camera. <laughs> <laughs>